Joined now with our Athlete of the Week from the rodeo team as they just wrapped up their second to last rodeo up at Roping and Rigging Days up in Casper. And Rhett Witt was able to break a little bit of a skid and come away with the title in steer wrestling. Had the fastest time in the rodeo in steer wrestling. And one of your fastest times of the season in steer wrestling actually with a 4.6. How did it feel to get back onto the winning side of things with that? Well, you know, like this spring I've been riding a younger horse. My good horse got sore last fall and got messed up. So, uh. I decided it was about time to break him into the rodeo scene and to come out and be the fastest I've ever been on him and the fastest I've been this spring on anything. It's, it's just, it just feels really good to get back in the swing of things. When you talk about breaking a new horse, how much work goes into that? How many rodeos till you really start feeling comfortable with that partnership? Well, I've been I've been riding him in practice for the last just about two years and he's only been to about ten rodeos and the first five you really got to just worry about him and you think about if he's going to do his job or if he's going to try and do something stupid because he's never been there before. But but about the fifth rodeo, I realized this horse is doing his job to the best of his abilities, and I just need to start thinking about bulldogging again. Talk a little bit about the amount of time you guys get to work with the horses in the arena because that's something I know having the on-campus arena must help a little bit with. Does that make it so it speeds up the process a bit more at this level when you're trying to work on a new horse? Yeah, so like if I was at home, I would – I. And even when I was at home all last year, I never never got to run any on him. Maybe once a week I'd get to run one or two head on him. and You can't bring one along that fast when you're just going once in a while. But twice a week and getting as many head as I want to run on him, it just it makes it a lot easier for him to pick things up if you're doing it on a scheduled basis. You can't forget what he was doing the day before. What's What does it do for you as far as it being a competitor when you suddenly get yourself back into some of these races? Because that's what this last rodeo really did, is it jumped you back into the steer wrestling race to try and make that trip to Casper. Does that light a little bit more of a fire, or do you need that fire lit at all? Is it always kind of there for you? Well, I think it, I think this I speak for everybody when I say that, I mean, when you're in a slump, it's hard to get out. When, you, when you're not winning, it's hard to think about winning. You're just trying to get by to get better. You know, but when you start winning again, I mean, it puts that competitive drive in you, and you want to just go out there and, and do the best job, and you're confident that you can do the best job every time. Now, whether or not you make it to Casper or not, you kind of have your summer planned out. We were talking a bit about that beforehand. It's your first year with the pro card. You're actually going to be in your rookie year. How excited are you that you kind of have some momentum from the college season that kind of boosts you into that pro season? No, I'm I'm excited. It's it's going to be a good year. I kind of figured out who I'm going to go with, but I'm I'm entered up here in Guyman in a couple of weeks, and that's a good rodeo to start the season off with and uh, get to meet up with a bunch of guys that I got to go with last year. And just being on my cards is going to be a lot easier. You're not the, not the kid anymore. You know, you're back in the, with the big dogs. So I've also noticed at practices, you kind of, Cecil almost kind of given you a unofficial assistant coach role in, in, in some ways where he asks you for advice. A lot of the kids will come up to you and ask you for, uh, a lot of the other athletes, I should say, will come up to you and ask you for advice. How, how does it kind of feel being one of the veterans this year versus being one of the freshmen that's still kind of working their way into what college and even pro at that point in time was still about? Well, it's, it feels good to have guys that, I mean, I wouldn't say look up to you, but, but trust your opinion on what they think they're doing wrong. Like, I go to Bernie Girard when I'm asking about calf roping and stuff because he's way more experienced than I am. But but I've been in, kind of been there, done that a little bit in the bulldog, and so it's it's nice to know that guys can come up to me and feel comfortable asking me what's going on if, if I've noticed it or not. One of the other things about this team is Coach Glass is always so one that encourages you guys to go out and do rodeos when you're not necessarily in a college rodeo mm -hmm. is that something that draws you to this team because you said you're going to be coming back next year is, is that something that drew you back because of the opportunities to still go and pursue the craft oh and then i i mean i love this team i love this school i like i, I love cheyenne in general i this is a spot that i might live with the rest of my life but uh yeah just having a little bit of freedom to go out there and be able to rodeo whenever you need to if you're not got prior obligations here at the school or at another college rodeo a little bit of freedom to go pro rodeo and pursue your ultimate dream as professional rodeo cowboy i mean that's it's it's a good spot to be going pro is one of the things for you but you're also pursuing degrees here at l triple c how's the class how's the balance been going this year compared to last year as far as kind of keeping both in in priority mode well, so like last year, I was in the welding program, and it's five hours in the morning and a couple hours in the afternoon where you're busy working on stuff. And being online this semester and still living here in Cheyenne, I'm able to 
have a little more free time and get out and get stuff done in the mornings and then still be able to come to practice on time and have my homework done on time. Wrap it up with this question for you, and that's when you look ahead to what the future might bring for you and, and kind of how things have gotten set up here for you, how how much confidence have you gained in your time here at Old Trip and just in your abilities? I know you've already had some confidence because you had a really successful high school career and even had some really good success on your permit card last year. But how much has that confidence even grown a little bit more over the winter? Oh, a lot. You know, I've got to go to a couple of rodeos this winter that I didn't get to go to last year, like Rapid City and Grand Island. And having Dean Finnerty as assistant coach here is just amazing. I mean, he's one of the most positive humans I've ever met in my entire life. And I've, I, with him and Seth on my side and just pushing me and telling I mean, they, they reassure me that I am good enough to go. And that, that helps me to just be confident and go out there and do my job every time. Well, I look forward to seeing what Rhett can do as they head over to the JCA Laramie River Rendezvous. If you can get that mouthful out of your mouth in any one step, that's the final road of the year coming up. It'll be April 27th to the 29th. And I encourage everybody to get out there, check Rhett out, check the rest of the LCCC Rodeo team out as they finish up the season. Rhett, thanks again for the time. Thank you.